Lads, 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 welcome to a new video. In Good Nick here, as always. We're going to be talking about Ollie McBurney. We've apparently just had a 17 million bid uh, accepted by Swansea. So that's brilliant. Looks like he's on his way to Bramall Lane as we speak. Probably working out negotiations on uh, on salaries and wages and what have you. Um, so it's looking great. I'm very happy about it. I will explain in a second exactly why I'm happy about it with the pros and the and the cons, the negatives, positives. But first of all, I'm going to give you a few bits of information first. So Ollie McBurney was born in Leeds. I'm going to you're going to work out why I'm telling you these things in a second. He was born in Leeds, he's 23 years old, and he's six foot two. So, first of all, him being born in Leeds might be a big reason why he's come to us. Uh, might want to be closer to home, uh, might not like the commute, or, or obviously where he's living, how far he's living from home. I'm not too sure whereabouts he lives. Um, but that could be a big factor. He's 23, which is absolutely brilliant. Perfect age for a striker. He's been firing on all cylinders last season for Swansea. So that is that's excellent. That is exactly what we need going into this Premier League season. Full of confidence. Young lad. Um, let's hope he takes that into uh, into the new season. He's six foot two. Massive. Massive bloke. That's exactly what we need. Um, so I'm going to talk a bit more of that in a second but we'll talk about his career he started at Bradford City uh, 15 games no goals obviously a young lad uh, went on loan to Chester a couple of times scored a few goals um, then Swansea City signed him um, obviously as a young lad four years ago so he was 19 when Swansea signed him went on loan another couple of times then went to Barnsley that's when his career really kicked off so playing in the championship nine goals um, scored in 17 games, which is really good for a team that got relegated. So yeah, very, very good. Uh, especially when the players around you possibly on at that standard. So if he's kind of pulling them through, scoring them goals, winning them games, um, then that's brilliant. Really, really good. Um, he's played seven times for Scotland, but hasn't scored a goal. But come on, it's Scotland. It's Scotland. Like, what do you expect from him? He's not a miracle worker. Um, so, so yeah, so 2017-2018 season uh, for Barnsley, obviously scored nine goals uh, in a relegated Barnsley side. Um, obviously, 17 games, he'd not played too many, so it sounds like he went, came in January, probably. Um, I remember him playing against us, and he was brilliant, really, really good. Um, then he obviously he went back to Swansea, 2018-2019 season, last season. Uh, scored 22 goals in 42 games for Swansea. So obviously played most games and Swansea finished 10th. So 22 goals. Pookie scored in the 20s. Um, Billy Sharp scored in the 20s. He's scoring goals that probably was, was uh, if their defence was better, Swansea, or the keeper was better, then they possibly would have got into the playoffs. So he's scoring lots and lots of goals. 22 is excellent. One less than Billy Sharp. Um so now let's move on to the positives. Um, like I say, I think it's a very, very good signing. He reminds me of Hulse. He reminds me of Rob Hulse. And in the Premiership, Rob Hulse was brilliant before he got his leg broken. We would have stayed up that season if it wasn't for that. So yes, um, he reminds me of Rob Hulse. He's big, he's strong, he holds the ball up really, really well. He's great in the air, scored loads of headed goals this, uh, last season. Um, I know it's a it's a cliche, but he's very very good with his feet for a big man. Um, very good, really really good with his feet. Uh, really good at dribbling. Really good at getting away from defenders, getting away from midfielders. He likes to drop deep and help the midfield get the ball off the midfield, kind of flick it away from a defender, play it off and run. And that's what he does really really well. He holds it up well. He's great at, with the ball at his feet. Um, like I just said, he's not a lump. He's not a big lump that just... Like Hulse, I'm not saying Hulse was a lump, but Hulse was um, probably not as good with his feet, but he scored goals, and that's the thing. And so does Ollie McBurney. Obviously, he's showed in the last two seasons. Um, yeah, it's similar to David McGoldrick, really, I think. His feet are very, very good. Uh, maybe not quite as good as David McGoldrick with his feet, but better in different areas, better in the air, in my opinion, stronger. So it's going to be great to see him, uh, see who he links up with. Um, then 
very good age. He is at a very, very good age, 23 years old for a strike, especially if he's scoring loads of goals. So, um, yeah, the only negative really for me is the price tag. Um, but that's, that's players for you these days. That's what they go for. 17 million for a young, um, well, say English. He's playing for Scotland, but he's still an English lad. 17 million for an English lad who's banging goals in left, right and centre. Tell you what, Tammy Abraham, young lad scoring loads of goals in the Championship last season. Tammy would have probably gone for, if Chelsea were willing to sell him, 20, 25, 30 million even possibly. That's what you get for a, that, that's sort of the prices that you're looking at for young English talent. Look at Harry Maguire, 80, 90 million they're talking about him. And I know he's, he's, um, he's played a lot more in the Premiership. Ollie's not played at all in the Premiership yet, I don't think. Um, so, um, so yeah, we're going to see. We're going to see. And strikers obviously go more than go for more than defenders anyway. So, like I said, uh, it's something that we've never, uh, we've not really got. Um, David McGoldrick is um, strongish, but he's more of a, a ball player. Um, Billy Sharp is 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 strong for for a little guy. Moose don't really know much about. Um, Callum Robinson, not really that strong, not a target man. This guy's going to be a target man. He's going to be bringing other, other guys into the game. He's going to be trying to knock defenders about. And he's also great with it at his feet. So that's what we want to see. That's really, really what we want to see. So he's something that we haven't got right now. Uh, like I said, uh, the negatives are going to be just his um, his price tag, really. 17 million, 20 million with add-ons. But... If he's going to be playing all season, then I'm happy to pay 20 million for him rather than 17 because it'll be worth it. It'll definitely be worth it. In my opinion, I think he's going to hit at least 10 goals this season, which is really good for a for a, a champion a championship a Premier League striker. Um, so especially uh, for a team like us that are going to be trying to to score as many goals as we can and stay up, try his best to to survive in the Premier League. So. Um, I'm going to leave you with a few stats before I tell you exactly what uh, what I think the team will be to start off the season. So, first of all, only Billy Sharp had had a better conversion rate than Ollie McBurney in the Championship last season. Billy Sharp, 38%. Ollie McBurney, 33%. And this is for midfielders and forwards who played at least 23 games. So, obviously... This is the play. These are the big guys up here. So that's brilliant. That Billy Sharp, obviously thirty-eight percent is quality, uh, but thirty-three percent right behind him, really, really good. Uh, also, a few more stats for you. Uh, he scored twenty-two goals last season, which I've already said. Um, second most headed goals, second most key, uh, second most passes per game, second most key passes per game. Fourth most dribbles per game. That's all for championship strikers of last season. So second most header goals, second most passes, second most key passes. That's a big one. And fourth most dribbles. So you would think a big striker wouldn't be dribbling with the ball. But this guy is great with his feet. Like I keep saying, I keep saying it over and over again. I know I keep saying it. But it's excellent. It's great to see. It's really good to see. Um... And I cannot wait to see him next season. As long as we sign him, obviously this could be something could happen. It could it could not happen. Um, we're just gonna have to see 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 where it where it, where we go from here. But I think he's gonna start up front with Callum Robinson. If I'm honest, if it doesn't work, then he'll probably bring on Big David McGoldrick and Billy Sharp as well. Uh, obviously, there's Moose as well. I just don't know wh who we're going to play where. <laughs> um, we might not even play two up front. That's the thing. We might play with two attacking midfielders at some point. You just don't know. We might go a bit more defensive. So, it's going to be tough. If uh, if we do sign McBurney, McBurney, I think, will be the starting striker. We've paid £17 million for him, guys. He's got to start. And I do think... If you're going to play one up front, which we could do at some points this season, it needs to be a big guy. It needs to be a big guy who holds it up and brings other players into the game. And I really do think Ollie can do that. It's really exciting. A lot of Premiership fans are going to be saying, oh, they're signing Championship players again. He's not a Championship player, in my opinion. He is a Premiership player. He's a Championship player waiting for that chance in the Premier League. And we're going to give it to him, hopefully. 
So, um, so yeah, I am really excited. Seen a lot of him recently um, on YouTube videos and watching bits of Swansea last season and watching bits of, of, uh, of Barnsley the season before. And he looks a really exciting player. So, uh, so yeah, don't let anyone, any Premier League fans, any Wednesday fans tell you that we're signing championship players. These guys are going to be ready for the Premiership. These guys are going to be young and hungry players. Look at the players that we've signed. Uh, Luke Freeman, young, hungry. Well, not young. 20, I think he's 27. But still at a young age, hungry. Moussa, he's going to be hungry after not, not playing a great deal last season and not scoring many goals. Um, Ravel Morrison, not exactly young, but he's going to be hungry to prove everybody wrong, everyone that doubts him wrong. So it's going to be re a really exciting season, in my opinion. Um, so hopefully they'll get Ollie McBurney over the line within the next sort of 24 hours. I'm sure we will. And, uh, and yeah, let's see what he can do next season. I'm going to predict that he's going to score at least 10 goals next season. Um, yeah, exciting times, Blades. Let's hope we get him over the line. And survival's got to be ours, surely. Come on, you red and white wizards. Stay good, Nick.